So I'm gonna give you guys three questions I want you to ask every time you start an assignment. Okay, and that doesn't mean we're always gonna be able, uh, you're not always gonna get the answer from me that you, that you want, but I want you to ask the question. Before I give you the questions, let me tell you what happened today. I got two land title surveys today. Not today, uh, what is today? Is it Monday? I don't even know what day it is. Last week, I got two land title surveys. I got one from Matt, and I got one from Julian. Do you think they look the same? Oh, nope. no. They also did not look like the template that I had on Matilda. Okay? Now, it's not that either one of them looked bad, because they both looked fine, but they both looked very what? They look different. Why is that hard for a guy like me? Because your name is the final stamp on it, and so if they don't look the same, they look like you did. Well, that's true. That's not even it. Well, that and like Kieran Wright was really good with standards, and if you looked at a Kieran Wright map even before you saw the title block, you knew it was a Kieran Wright map. Here's what I would like. Yeah. I gotta, I should, in theory, be checking all your stuff, right? And so when I get a map and I want to know where the table A items are, do I want to have to go look? No. I want it in the same place every time. If, if at all possible, within, within some reason. And I try not to micromanage you guys, but like, yeah, within some loose, loose guidelines. You know, same thing, record of survey. You know, should I have to go hunt for the reference table? Mm -mm. You know, should I wonder what symbol we use for found moms? No. Nope. Should I be confused at where, what the crow's feet look like? No. And you guys know me, I really don't give a crap about the minute details on the drafting. Right? If I, what's more important to me than anything is consistency. You know, like, I don't want you to use Comic Sans or some curly scurs of font. Or, like, as long as you're not wild like Monique, she puts Comic Sans on everything. Okay? As long as you don't go crazy on me, I, I really don't care. As long as we're all doing it the same. The issue I have is you kind of change from also also to a little, a little bit. Uh, for example, the Broadway sidelines and Matilda are gray. Okay. Um, that's the only alt I've seen it like that on. Um, I've had times where you would look at the thickness of a line and you would tell me to change the color. Like. Okay. So is it, so here's part of the, part of the reason we have a problem there. Is I don't like you think that Matilda is the template, but yeah. I don't think that's the template, dude. Okay. So here's the key. Instead of. When we, when we, when I tell you I want something to change, there's two things going on. Either I'm being inconsistent, right, and you need to tell me that. Hey, you're being inconsistent. Or we got to go back to the template and do what? Adjust the template. Every time we make a change, when I redline your drawing that comes from the template and say, hey, I don't like that line type or this, this isn't thick enough. You got to go back to the template and make those changes, right? And I'll give an example. I on one of the jobs, I don't know what. I had to do an uh, orthophotography note. So I made an orthophotography note, but we never went back and added it to the template. So then when Matt needed an orthophotography note last week, what was I trying to do again? Make a new one. So what I did was I went and found my orthophotography note, I gave it to Matt, and then I immediately did what with it? Changed it. I went and put it in the template. Oh, I know you did that. So it was there for next time, right? And like, I haven't done this yet because I'm a, I'm a disaster, but the lender on Sand Hill said, can I get a table of revisions on your land title survey, right? Just a simple date, you know, date, what was changed, right? And so I went, I whipped one up real quick. Like, what probably needs to happen with that? It needs to get put in the template. Right, even if we don't use it, even if it's off to the side in paper space, because is that the last paralegal that's going to ask me for that on a land title survey? Probably not. So look, everybody here has to help me. When we're making change now, there may be document specific changes or survey specific changes that apply to a certain project that don't have to go back into the template. Okay, so for example, how often do we, you know, we got asked to calculate landscape areas on Sand Hill. That's the first time I've ever been asked to do that. Okay, I probably, we don't, probably don't need to put that in the template. The second time somebody asks me to do it, what am I going to do? Put it in the template. Put it, put it in the template. Okay. So I need some help. I'm like, look, if part of me being inconsistent is getting three flavors of something, right? So here's the questions we got to ask every time we get an assignment. Number one, is there a template? Yes 
yes or no question. Okay. If we have a template, more than likely, where does it live? In your share. Now, my case share templates. That's not where it should live, but that's where it lives right now. Look, they've got a CAD committee. They're trying to get things. They're trying to address this problem. How long do I suspect that will take? A year. <laughs> Before we see something, it'll probably You're be a year. You're optimistic. It'll be a year, and then I'll hire another new committee to fix what that committee is. Okay, so the very first question is, is there a template? Okay. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a slash here example. Okay. I wouldn't mind having both a template and an example. Okay. Two, second question. Is there a workflow? Now we have one for land title surveys. Okay, so you should when you get a land title survey, you should know the order that things go in from start to finish. Doesn't mean it can't change, but you should have a rough idea. <clears throat> okay, the last question, is there a checklist? The checklist should get used twice. Who are the two people that should use the checklist? The drafter and the checker. Yeah, the drafter and the peer review. Okay. So, I'll bark at Matt because he brings me a land description and plat that's got typos on it. And Matt tells me, man, it'd be nice if we had a checklist. You're right, Matt, it would be nice. So, I actually have one. I made one after I talked to Matt. So, next time we do one, there's a checklist. Awesome. Okay, so we got to remember to use it, right? So, I need your guys' help because when I'm handing out assignments in here on Monday morning, am I thinking about this? No. Not most of the time. Okay. Now, here's the key. If we ask question number one, is so for example, you, Elena's working on a finished utility map. Okay. She says, is there a template or an example? If the answer to that question is no, what do we need to be thinking? Shouldn't we? Ah, so if the answer to this question is no, the next question I want to ask is, will we ever do this again? The answer to that question is yes. What should we do? So, guess what Elena's going to do when she's done with this utility map for CRC? She's going to save it as a template. It's got my standard notes in it. We got the table in there. She's working on the depth markers. Okay, and the next time she goes to start a utility map, which she will for Matilda this week probably, okay, that's what she's going to use. And when we need to fix stuff, when I redline stuff, She's got to fix her drawing, and then and then if it's applicable, she got to go back and fix the template, and she's gonna whip me up a little checklist. Okay, well, I'm, at some point it'd be nice to have a workflow. Okay, so those are the three questions.